Okay, so now we've got the majority of the rig working, we're going to add some ribbon spines to the arms so we can get that sort of cartoony, bendy arms, um, bendy limbs. And at the end of this tutorial, we're going to rack up a few deformations and you're going to see how this is going to drastically improve what you can actually do with this character. So, for example, we've got these controls which can move the spine about, and we've got the Icon FK, which are quite simple, we've set up and quite straightforward. But what we're going to add in is a few def non-linear deformers to these ribbon spines, so we can have like a Mexican wave going up and down and pulsating down his antennas and down his arms, but with still full control to rotate the arms. So you can have that wave going down, and then you can get that sort of really cartoony animation in there that we can add all these and things like twists so we could get the eyes so if his eye was twisting round we could get that really nice twist going wrapping round all the way around his antenna so this is where where we're going to add these non-linear deforms in afterwards and it's I will be able to show you how advanced you can get but with quite simple systems so to first off I'm going to hide the mesh and go show non show nerves curves and I'm just going to add all these nerves curves to a new display layer. So I'm going to click the far right icon in the channel box display layers, which is add selected objects. Just double click the name and I'm going to call it CC. Save. And we'll notice we forgot to draw, do the draw and override for this top control here, so I'll just do that now. And also, we can see this IKFK, it's switched back to this default blue. And the reason for that is because these are all different shapes that we added to the first shape of the eye, so it's all one curve. So we'll actually it's only put the drawing override on that first curve there. And if we try edit these, we can see we're going to get an error. Oop, we didn't. But sometimes you might get an error when we try go ahead and change some of these. So here we get an error. And the reason for that is because this has been added to a layer some of these draw and overrides get locked so what we want to do is just right click with the control selected, right click on the layer and go to remove selected objects and that way now we can go ahead and enable the draw and override and go through each one of these shape nodes so each one of these shape nodes is just a different curve we can go ahead and just re-enable that override Okay, so we've got the whole curve. Now let's go back to the layer. We've selected, right click, add selected objects. Oop, and we missed the K. So I'll remove that again, remove selected objects. Let's double check these. Alright, so it's this one here. Enable or ride. Pink. We'll add that back in. Okay, it's doesn't seem to be want to be doing it. Let's double check these again. Enable override. Okay, we've got that. And we've picked the wrong colour there. So, got that in there now. Add selected objects. Okay, so, doesn't seem to be doing it. So, just double check in. Remove it again and just going through all these shapes, we can see there's the shape 05 here I'll try that re-add it ok, there we go so just got to make sure we um, do it on all the curves so if I just go show all and it just means that we can now hide the control curve so we can just work with the joints quite easily so what we're going to do here is I'm just going to go to surfaces again so we're going to create the NURBS plane for this I'm just going to create a plane, invert snap it to the joints here I'm just going to, in the make NURBS plane history, I'm just going to reset these back to 1 and I'm going to make a linear NURBS plane and that's important, we're going to set that to linear and we want this to bend so it's aiming down the Y so as we bend around here there's going to be pretty much clean deformations if we had it, the nerves plane aiming here, 
Now as you start to bend, you can see how these points start to get close together if this arm was bending, and that would mean we'd get some scrunching up in the corner and adding follicles, they're going to start flipping about and jittering. So make sure we're aiming down the arm. And because we set to linear, this basically means it's going to get to control vertex. It's going to click all these selection masks to hide everything so we don't accidentally select the joints. All I'm going to do is select the first two CVs, vert snap them to the start, the last vert snap them to the end. And this is important because as you see later on we're using the UMV when we're creating the hair follicles. So what this actually is, is we go to Windows UV Texture Editor. It's, ta it's using this UV plane. So if for instance because we've made this even, we've started at the start and ended at the end. When we go ahead and add the hair follicles, it's going to add each follicle evenly along this NURBS plane. If we'd have created the NURBS plane in cubic with several different eyes palms and started to try and move it about, we might get an uneven distribution of hair follicles. We might get like 5 here and then 10 on the forearm. So making this from a linear NURBS plane makes it a lot easier because we can just go ahead and just start from the start, start from the end and the UVs between are even already. Okay so now I'm going to right click go to eyes of palm I'm going to also go in the front view and press F to frame that up and I'm just going to click some eyes of palms out so I'm holding shift and clicking so we can add more than one and I'm just going to match it up with these joints here I'm going to go into perspective mode and just go under surfaces, uh, edit nerves, insert eyes palm. And again, that's added some CVs so we can start moving these back and vert snapping them to these joints. Okay, that's looking good. I'm just going to scale this down a little bit. So I'm just going to delete the history on this for these transformations. And because it's a linear, nerve surface we want to get rid of that and also because it's linear we don't need to clean up these extra CVs in the middle because the U and V are already set to linear but what we actually want to do is set the V to cubic so it's actually smooth down this arm because at the moment it's quite angular so I'm just going to go to edit nerves, re rebuild surface and actually I think it's the U down here but we can just check so I'm going to go to U and I'm going to set it to 21 so we've got 10 on either side and 1 in the middle I'm going to set it to so 21 working on the U direction only I'm going to set it to cubic and hit apply and we can see yes, it, this is the U direction ok that's looking good so I'm going to do history on this again freeze transformations and we can start to add the hair follicles so I'm going to just go to the dynamics, and hair, create hair. And remember, we chose 21 on the U count, so I'm going to put 21 for the hair follicles. Let's hit apply. I'm keeping one in the V direction, so it just creates one line of follicles. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. And you can see, because we set it at linear, we can see that UVs are evenly spaced, so the follicles are going to be evenly spaced down this arm. And this is going to make the deformations later on look more smooth because we've got an even distribution of joints. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the hair system nucleus and the curves again. Expand, oops, so I'm press shift expand everything and get rid of these curve groups. So once you've done the ribbon spine a few times you sort of get the gist of what you need to do and it just becomes a process of just going through and getting that side. So I'm just going to rename these now. So I'll just pause the video and rename these. Okay, so I've gone ahead and renamed these and put them in their own follicles group. And at this point, what I'm just going to do, before we progress any further, I'm just going to control D this NURBS player, add it to the temp group so we've got a copy of it if we need to and then control D again, control G to group put negative 1 in the scale 
get to the other side. Um, just going to ungroup that. And then remember, we need to. If we look at the normals of this object, after we freeze the transformation, it's going to flip those normals. So just to keep things consistent, I'm just going to go to surfaces, surface, um, edit nerve, sorry, and reverse surface direction, just so we can get the normals facing the, the same way. And I'll just hide those normals again. Delete history, freeze transformations, just make sure everything's clean. And on the dynamics, make sure it's dynamics will create the hairs again. So working with um, this I, I find it's easier to just work on the left and right at the same time. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video, kind of unparent all these follicles and rename them like we did on the other side. Okay so I've just renamed all these, put them in the wrong group and again renamed the nerve surface, so I'll just copy and paste the name there. I've renamed the group wrong here, so I'm just making sure we've got the right names for everything. It's the left group. So renaming the nerve surfaces as well, just so we know what we're working with as we go along. Okay, so the next step, if we create a joint here, duplicate that across to the other side and turn the selection masks on so I can select the joints and I've got JTBN underscore it's going to be left ribbon or uh, arm ribbon even or one and before I do that I'll copy the name over to this one here is going to be the right and then I can just duplicate this 21 times I'm just hitting control D to see 21 and the same I'm just going to drag this right uh, just above the left and then hit control D I said it didn't matter why we drag it but I'm just going to hit control D on the right hand side 21. So we've got 21 left and 21 right. And remember, what we need to do now is just select the first follicle, select the first joint, and parent constraint with maintain offset on. I mean, off even. So if we just go to this. We've got this left follicle here, select the first follicle. If I frame it up, just check we've got the right one selected. So this is the first follicle. So with the first follicle selected on the left hand side, I'm going to control click the first follicle, the first joint, go to animations, constraint, parent, and I'll just reset the settings and uncheck maintain offset. Okay, so we've got that snapped to there. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same with all these joints. I'm just going to pause the video because it's been quite repetitive and time consuming. So just repeat the same steps, parenting each joint to its corresponding follicle. Okay, so I've just gone ahead, parent constraint all those joints, and then just grouped them in their own separate groups. And I'm just going to select one of these groups, right click, select hierarchy. Click ro lo local rotate axes just so we can check these and we can see they're all pointing quite nicely. And select the group again, select hierarchy, and I'll do the same to the other side just to check. So that's quite nice. Okay, so everything's pretty much done for that ribbon. You can see it's all moving correctly. So I'm just going to take these ribbon joint groups, move them under the joint ribbon group, um, take these two follicle groups, move them into the extra to hide 
so you don't need to see them anymore. I'm going to leave the two nerve surfaces visible at the moment. So what we need to do now is we're actually going to take these arm joints. So I'm going to shift select them separately. So making sure we're getting the correct joints and not selecting any ribbon joints. I'm going to shift select all these arm joints that we used for the IK and the FK. And I'm going to shift select this last. I'm not going to select the end joint, remember I'm going to select the arm joint that's got the rotations on there. So as the arm twists, as the uh, wrist twists. So we don't want the smaller joint, we want the larger joint. And I'm going to shift select the nerve surface last and go to skin, bind skin, smooth bind. And selected joints, closest distance. That's looking okay, I'm just going to hit apply. Hit close, do the same on the other side. Going through, shift selecting each joint. Make sure we get the forearm twist joint and then that wrist joint. Shift select surface, skin, bind skin, smooth bind. And now what we should be able to see is bring back the control curves. I'm going to switch to FK or IK even. We can see that moving that arm we are getting that really nice smooth bend now. So we've got the double joint and the double joint is driving a smooth nerved surface. So we're getting an even more smoother arm bend. So we're not getting so as we start to skin this later on, we're not going to get any nasty crumpling in this area. We're going to get some nice deformations going on. And we can see the squash and stretch is working. And as we saw earlier on, as we squash and stretch the rig, and we had it sort of default skin to this, it sort of crumpled this area because this joint here was scaling, which was scaling some of the chest. But because we're not using the those joints anymore to skin, we're actually using the ribbon to skin now. If we move this, these joints at scale and they're just moving in position. So none of these um, ribbon spines, these ribbon joints are scaling. They're just moving to match the scale of that IKFK rig. So we're not going to get any sort of crumpling over here either. We can see how good this is working. We'll just double check that it works in FK as well. So you can see we're getting that nice bend again. And it even does work in these directions where we, we wouldn't really tend to bend it in this direction but we can see if we do we're still getting really nice deformations and everything's falling along. Great. So everything seems to be working. The last thing we need to do now, actually, is we're going to select the top joint of this, hit F to frame it, and I'm just going to hold Shift to expand all the names, and I'm just going to rename these uh, JTDRV because we're no longer using this arm joint to skin anymore. It's skinned to the nerve surface, which is going to move these uh, ribbon joints, which are going to be used to skin to the character. So these arm joints were made at the start we're going to call JTDRV and you could have called them DRV from the start if you knew you were going to add a ribbon spine but I just wanted to show you how to make a normal arm just in case if you don't want to add this ribbon spine you know how to create the arm normally let's go ahead and DRV and this JTN so we can leave that as JTN and the same on the other side expand this joint DRV DRV ok with these nerve surfaces selected I'm just going to put them into their hidden group as well extra nodes, extra to hide. Okay, so we've got that all set up. So in the next lesson we're just going to do default skinning to see how this looks and we're going to go ahead, ahead how we can add extra controls.